copy a Google Classroom. Find the Google Classroom you'd like to copy, click on the three dots, and click Copy. It will tell you that all of the topics and classwork items are copied, so materials and assignments are copied, but the rosters and announcements are not copied. So essentially, you're only copying your topics and classwork, and they're saved as drafts. So you can rename it here. I'm gonna leave copy of, so I don't forget that you can name it. Maybe your class last year was ELA, and, and it was ELA 2019. This is ELA 2020. And I'm just going to click on copy so you can name it however you want it. And I'll just show you that it only copies the assignments that I had posted last year. Um, just keep this in mind. I typically just like to reuse my assignments year after year. I personally wouldn't use this method, but it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with it. So this is, says creating your class. And when it's done, I'll just click on it and you'll see none of my announcements copied over. And when I go into the classwork section, the assignments are all here sorted by topic, but they're grayed out. When I'm ready to assign it, I can simply click on it, click edit assignment, and click assign when I'm ready. None of my students carried over, none of my announcements carried over, only my classwork. So if you do have, a, um, maybe you teach a specific course with a structure, this would be a great way to do that. Otherwise, in the classwork section, you could simply click create and reuse a post from last year. So you don't need to copy your whole class, but it's entirely up to you and your own personal preferences. And that is how you copy a class in Google Classroom.